Welcome to Booze in the Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to have a bikini martini showdown. In the red corner, we're going to have the bikini martini. In the blue corner, we're going to have the blue polka dot bikini martini. Both of them are very similar in composition and makeup. However, they come out with slightly different flavors and gorgeous looks. So let's get into it. Now, these are shaken cocktails, so you're going to need a couple of shaking glasses, depending on what you want. And we're going to start with the blue polka dot bikini. And that normally calls for a orange pineapple juice. So what we'll do is we will start with some oranges. I'm using a navel orange, and what we'll do is we'll cut this in half and squeeze one ounce or 30 milliliters into the glass. Your second ingredient is some pineapple juice, and I'm using some pure pressed pineapple juice meaning that there's no sugar added. But we're going to use the same amount of one ounce or 30 milliliters. The third ingredient that you're going to use for this is coconut rum. Use whatever you can get your hands on. I'm going to use Malibu coconut. Uh, if you use a different type of rum, just remember that the ABV or alcohol by volume will be different in the cocktail and will adjust for your flavors. But we are going to use two full ounces or 60 milliliters. Now that we've built the base, I'm going to put it off to the side in the blue corner. Having said that, I'm not done making the cocktail. I just want to make both bases. So please stick with me while we do this. That way you can see exactly how they go together. Now the next one is the bikini martini. And we're going to start this with pineapple juice. And we need for this two full ounces, which as you know, works out to 60 mils. Your next ingredient is vodka. We're going to use Finlandia vodka here. We don't need a lot of it. We need about three quarters of an ounce, which works out to 22 and a half mils. The third ingredient that we're going to use, again, is coconut rum. So this will be a little bit of a stronger cocktail and it won't have quite as intense as a coconut flavor, but we're going to use an ounce and a half, which works out to 45 mils. Now that we have our bases built, I'm going to separate this off to the red corner because you got to get prepped between their fights, right? So what we're going to do is fill both of these with ice and we're going to shake them for a good 10 seconds. And you want to shake them for the same amount of time because we are fighting to the death to see which one wins. And we want to see which one looks prettier too. So once you've done that, put your lid on there, grab your two shaker tins, and make sure they've got a really good lid and then double fist it. All right, so what you want to do now is knock these off to this side, put the respective fighters in their corner and then grab your glass of choice. In this case, I'm using a pair of martinis glass because what else are you going to do when it's named something martini? So, and I'm going to pour these both at the exact same time. All right, look at that. We have two separate colors, and now we're going to finalize our dressing by using our blue curacao and our grenadine. So the blue polka dot bikini uses the blue curacao, and we need half an ounce or 15 mils. And what we're going to do is just slowly, using our spoon, we're just going to pour them down the edge so it layers. Now that we've got the blue in place, what we'll do is we will, A, make sure that I tighten that up because if I don't, I will trip it over. But we're going to grab the same amount of grenadine. And I'm using Rose's grenadine. So you want a half an ounce of that or 15 mils. And finally, both combatants are ready. They both look gorgeous to look at, but how do they taste and which one is better? So what we're gonna do is just give these a little bit of a stir just to mix everything together. And we'll try with our blue polka dot bikini martini. It's good. It's sweet. You get orange, you get pineapple. And you know what? It blends together really, really well. And it is not a pervasive feeling of the uh, coconut. Mm. 
Bart Bikini Martini is really good, although not as much of that actually uh, stirred up as I had planned. But again, it is sweet, it is pineapple-y, and it's not quite as much of the coconut because of the combination of the base spirits. If you like this style of content, please let me know down in the co that, you know, down below in the comments thing area. And you know what? You have a fantastic day, and while you're at it, take a look right there.